Hey guys, it's Deligracy here and I've got another speed build for you. I am building a toddler daycare castle, which is kind of different, a bit of fun. It's inspired by one of the kids items in the Sims 4 base game, which is the castle dollhouse. Uh, so if you have a Sims 4 base game, I'm sure you've seen that in your buy catalog. But basically I thought it would be cool to kind of size it up and make it into a nice community lot for toddlers because a few of you guys were asking for a toddler hangout ever since the, the new update dropped for that new life stage. So that is what we are doing. We are creating a castle build and everything inside this community lot is going to be able to take care of your toddler's needs so you can basically take the family here and have a change of scenery during your gameplay and I think that's I think that's nice so we are just making the what do you call them the turrets uh, right now and using those half walls in alternating heights to create that aesthetic of a castle and the important thing about this was to keep it kind of small I felt like a toddler hangout didn't need to be that big a daycare so uh, it's kind of small and there's different rooms that are kind of for different specific specifically different things so there is a nap room with a couple of beds in it there is the potty room and bathroom so if they have an accident you can give them a bath or you can toilet train them we have the upstairs big play room which is inspired by the outdoors so it's going to have astro turf flooring flooring and a whole heap of toys and a bookcase uh, what else do we have we have a kitchen with high chairs like a little a little meal area a reception uh, so you know we've got a lot going on and there's also a little moat around the castle <laughs> which we're going to create as well uh, so there'll be a bit of landscaping in this and yeah I just thought I just thought it was nice and nice and cute little build uh, and I know you guys were hanging out for a toddler inspired build. So hopefully this will satisfy your simming needs. Mm, which sounds good. Uh, I was trying to figure out which wallpaper I wanted. I was like, do I want it to actually be like a stone castle or did I want to use bright colors or bright weatherboard on the outside? But in the end, I thought, you know, let's just keep to a more traditional castle look. So it's really easily identified as a castle lot. And the other thing I have a little bit of trouble with that always frustrates me is that we don't really have a roof tool that can go above, well, not really circular, but hexagonal or octagonal rooms. It's just like, it's annoying that we don't have roofing for a circular area because we've always... Well, we've had that in The Sims 3. Uh, I think we really need it in The Sims 4. So eh, it's just it's just tricky. You know, you've just got to kind of make do with what you have. So I just had a little bit of fun crossing over a few different, few different uh, roofs and using the new copy tool with them. Uh, I wanted to, I guess, make a little walkway as well. Uh, so we're going to the foundation we've just created underneath the building that's actually going to be extended out past where the stairs are. We're going to put those stairs more closer to the road. So it kind of will look like a little bit of a bridge going over a moat eventually, a little bit, kind of. Uh, and then this is, this is basically just a free outdoor walkway area. So where those archways are, I guess you could take your kid out for a bit of fresh air. Uh, that's definitely more just for the exterior aesthetic of the castle. And yeah, there we go. That's our little, a little moat beginning to take form. <laughs> and uh, I wanted this to look like a natural moat. So we are giving it an irregular shape. We're going to be placing stones around it using the move objects on cheat. And uh, basically that's the way to create a natural looking pool. Uh, but I decided to use the fountain tool instead of the pool tool because these are toddlers and I thought shallow waters was very important for a venue that is for toddlers for obvious reasons. So that's why we went with that. Uh, yeah, so, oh, and then we need to make the water green because I was like, it could be a pool, but I think we want to make it look natural. 
Alrighty, so I've just skipped ahead a little bit. Uh, I've done the stones around here that uh, I actually didn't mean to cut that out of the video. So I'm a little bit confused as to where that footage is actually. Uh, but basically I've done some landscaping. I often cut it out, so I'm not too worried about that, but I did actually want to include it this time. Oh well. Let me know if you want to see more landscaping because I'll uh, include it in the next one. But basically, yeah, we've put stones around, use the move objects on sheet to kind of just put lots of different bushes and trees around the place. We also need to figure out what lot type we're going to have. Uh, for a daycare, there's not really an option already. So I decided to, in the end, we do go with, I think, a library and some of the required objects for that library I've actually put in a basement you can't get to just so it was possible. Uh, it's a shame because the generic lots, if I'm not mistaken, if you make it a generic lot, which doesn't have any requirements, if you visit it, other Sims won't spawn there. It will just be your family. I'm pretty sure that's what happens, or at least that's what used to happen unless it's been updated, which is kind of annoying. I, you know, if you're going to have a public lot, you, you want other Sims to spawn there, not just your own family. You want it to, to feel like a public space. Otherwise, you may as well just go home. <laughs> so that was, yeah, uh, that that's always a little bit tricky. I think I'm not sure how I feel about requirements. I understand that requirements are handy if you're building a lot to remember what kind of things you might want to put there. But at the same time, I feel like you could just have a checklist that was optional and you don't necessarily have to fill it. You could just get a pop-up warning that says, hey, you haven't fulfilled all the requirements. Are you okay to continue or something? I don't know. It just, it's just a bit annoying. Uh, yeah. And some of the things as well you don't necessarily want. So, for instance, if you make a playground or a park, uh, one of the requirements I think is a kid's jungle gym, is it? And I'm like, they're so big and they take up so much room. <laughs> what happens if you want to make a park without that, you know? So it, it ends up restricting you quite a bit, uh, I think. Anyway, some of these new items are really, really cute with the toddler update. I think the flooring's gorgeous. It's a perfect balance between traditional and modern and fresh. Uh, you know, it's really easy for kids things to just become only for kids and you're not able to use them really for anything else. Uh, but I think, you know, these carpets, you could probably use them in a modern penthouse. You could, you know, use those cloud lamps in other ways or those cloud or the ombre walls you don't have to use just for toddlers. So I think I think they just did a really nice job with this update. And not to mention it's free as well. I just feel like it's very nicely balanced. Uh, this balloon lamp, I have to say the base of it really is so clunky. I find it really awkward to place. Uh, I do wish it was a different base, uh, a little, I don't know. I, that's not, that, I ended up deleting it because I didn't want the base. <laughs> Uh, down here, I thought the bunny was super cute because it matched the walls. And I was thinking making this into the nap room. But we're actually going to take the nap room upstairs and make this into kind of a downstairs reading room. I have to say, when I was taking the screenshots, oh my god, all the sims on the lot just went into this one room. I don't know why, but they were all in there. It was just like the party room and a little bit confused as to why they did that <laughs> but they were all in there having a great old time and how cute are these bookshelves so pretty and those armchairs pink stripes yeah so cute and I do like these curtains with the transparent uh, I guess detailing behind them I think that's really nice and oh my goodness you guys we have vampires coming out in I don't even know a week a week and a half two weeks soon which is gonna be crazy ah oh, i'm so excited i just vampires i'm not even that much of a supernatural fan in the sims i just i think because it's not a whole supernatural expansion maybe perhaps i find that a little overwhelming for my gameplay but the fact it's a game pack and it's just vampires you know i'm kind of open to it i'm kind of yeah, I'm kind of interested in that. I think we're going to have a little bit of fun with some builds. I might do a mini let's play. Uh, just anyway, have fun. So that should that should be that should be good. 
All right, so this is going to be like the reception area. So I wanted to have a desk here so you can check your kids in. And we're also going to have a little area where the shelving with the boxes on them, uh, that's going to be where you can put your kids things. So their school bags can go there and maybe their little lunchbox. Uh, so we'll, we'll start getting onto that in a second. And then up here, I wanted to use the AstroTurf and flowers and stuff as the ground to give it an outdoors theme. Bring the outdoors indoors. And I think that works perfectly well when you have the cloud, uh, cloud, cloud lamps coming down. I thought that was pretty cute. Uh, lots of ombre ombre happening here on the walls. And this is going to be the little... I guess potty room, <laughs> the potty room, the bathroom. You know what? Now I come to think of it, I really should have put some adult sized toilets. I might actually advise you guys to go into buy the bug mode and actually get one of the toilet blocks. <laughs> if you do put this in your game, because otherwise the adult Sims don't really have a place to go unless they want to use the potty. <laughs> so, hmm. Anyways, this is for the toddlers. Uh, we've got a couple of baths there. They do need to be bathed now and then for their needs. Uh, they also, if they're not potty trained, they might wet and poopy their pants because uh, they don't know how to use the potty yet. So you might need to put them in the bath. I thought it would be cute just to go crazy with rubber duckies on those shelves on the wall. And those void critters, uh, the sea themed ones in the bathroom just goes with that water theme. I, I don't know. I thought that was cute. And this unicorn on the wall is just like the cutest thing ever. I'm just like, Ugh, I love it. I love you, unicorn. You're so cute. And uh, then over here, I've just got a bench with a couple of towels on it. I think yeah, a couple of lotus lights. It's a real mix of bits and bobs, this build. I have to say, I didn't hold back. This is not meant to be a sophisticated build by any means. It's meant to be a youthful and energized build. What's the look we're going for? But yeah, are you guys enjoying toddlers? I, I mean, from what I've heard and seen, everyone's pretty happy with it. I don't think anyone's disappointed uh actually the only thing I've noticed is that some people were a little bit disappointed that the toddlers are slightly older uh their age bracket they appear to be the older end of toddlers as opposed to the younger ages so it's a little bit different from the sims 3 I think I prefer the older toddlers I think they're a bit I think they're so much more cuter and because they're a little bit older, they have more movement and emotion showing on their faces and they can do a little bit more. I I have to say the animations are absolutely gorgeous, especially when you get an adult sim to play with your toddler sim and they lift them up in the air and they flip them around and put them on their back. And it's just so, 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 so sweet. Here's a little area where we're going to be putting school bags and lunch boxes. Uh, these little drawers, I imagine maybe you'd put your kid's name on it and open it up to put their belongings inside. I also wanted to section off just slightly that little reception desk uh, because we're actually going to put a little play area behind it. We're going to have the castle uh, kids object I was telling you guys about earlier that this build is inspired by. That's going to sit behind the desk as kind of a nod that that's what this build is meant to represent. I felt like these floating trees on the wall looked kind of bad. So we get rid of those and we're going to put something else up there in a second. Can't remember what I put up there. I'm curious. I feel like I'm finding out with you guys. What is she going to put on that wall? Oh, that's right. We just went with some simple lights because I felt like there was just too much artwork everywhere. It's just a little bit much. Uh, so yeah, we have the koala chairs under the green trees because <laughs> I'm Aussie. I thought we had to have that. And there we go. That is the pink castle. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. And those hot air balloon decals are just everything. I love them so much. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of coming along nicely. And 
have we got over here? Oh yeah, I thought we'd just put one plant in. I know that at schools now and kindergartens uh, and daycares, uh, food allergies are just so prevalent these days in kids, um, so much more than they used to be, that there's a lot of pretty tough rules and regulations now in schools in Australia, uh, like peanuts you cannot have nuts at school in lunch boxes at least in Victoria where I live you can't have those anymore I don't think uh, I remember when I went to primary school I could have nuts but I had to be careful with eating them I think and now you just cannot have them uh, I think there's a few other things as well but you also can't have real plants in some places so I thought okay maybe this plant in the corner was going to be uh, that was that is downstairs a fake one this is the nap room. Yay, we've got the three little beds, rainbow curtains, and this room is where your toddlers can go to have nap nap time. I don't know about you guys, but I'm a huge fan of naps. I love to nap. And you know what? I never did until about two years ago when I was working two jobs and I literally could not not nap. <laughs> I used to always refuse to nap. I'd be like, I only nap when I'm sick. Uh, but now I rely on naps quite a lot. And leading up to Christmas, I was sleeping twice in 24 hours. I had a split sleep pattern. And it's only now that I'm really trying to not do that anymore. I don't know if it's a good or a bad thing, but a few people said it was bad for you doing that. Uh, and I also read it was really good for you. I read Einstein used to do that. So I pretty much felt like a genius. <laughs> Just kidding. But uh, it's actually been a real struggle not to sleep during the day. I, uh, I don't know. I'm not, I feel like it works better for me sleeping twice in 24 hours. But I don't know if it's the right thing to do. Does anyone else do that? I don't know anyone else who does that. Maybe I'm just a weirdo. I don't know. <laughs> no. Anyways, this is a feeding room. So there's a couple of fridges up there and then you've got your high chairs. Now, I think there's fridges you can get toddler's food out of, but there is a slight chance you can't. So you just have to go into build mode quickly and just change the fridges over. Uh, and I also wanted it to look a little bit pretty. So I've put a nice curtain across, across the fridge just to cover it up a little bit. And I wanted to have some food themed posters on the wall as well, because, you know, if you're feeding a toddler, you'd be like, what is this? This is an avocado. <laughs> this is a noodle. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, so, yeah, that's what we that's what we were getting to there. And we also have a potty in the corner just in case the kid eats something and then has got to go because being lactose intolerant, that's happened to me a few times for sure. Last of all, we're just making this upstairs playroom area. Uh, again, this is meant to bring the outdoors indoors. This would be fake grass and fake hedges. Uh, it wouldn't be real, but uh, it would at least make toddlers feel like they were outside and they have the cloud lights. And I just thought it was kind of cute. Uh, again, we have a dollhouse from the base game and we also have the new modern dollhouse from the toddler update and I thought it'd be nice to have these little boats on a nice blue rug uh, just to make it look like water underneath them so that's kind of a nice little creative detail there and now we're just really putting some toys around the place we're going to put some decor on the walls or some pictures uh and yeah I don't know let me know what you guys think of this build is this a uh, is this a build you'll use in your game or that you appreciate watching? Or are you like, eh, I want to see something else. Then tell me in the comments down below what you want to see. And I will certainly try to deliver to you guys. Uh, I've been getting feedback that you guys want, of course, more Barbie, Gossip City. Uh, you've actually been asking for some Kaz videos, which is, which is interesting. I haven't been asked for those for a little while. Uh, some Grand Theft Auto on the channel, which is something I've only been streaming recently. And you guys have also asked again for Life is Strange. So I might bring out some more Life is Strange. We've taken a long break from that because I wasn't that into it. But maybe going back fresh, um, a fresh start, I'll be more 
more in the mood for it. Uh, so, you know, I'll try and get some new games out there. Uh, that should be good. But anyways, let's go into the screenshots right now. So we have the exterior, which is the castle. Uh, I know the yellow wall might look random to some of you guys, but I wanted it to <laughs> appear more childish, you know, than an actual castle. That is why I did that. And I think the frog fountains on the outside kind of help with that. And also the library sign, um, the daycare sign rather. And yeah. I think it's a cute little mini castle with the jigsaw piece, uh, pieces rug kind of leading up to it as well. So that's a that's a little bit of fun. Uh, yeah. And then this is inside the reception area. We've got some toddlers there. This lady is sitting on that koala chair. A nice clear computer and uh, the castle in the background. There's the potty room. Yeah, with the unicorns. And that's a little creepy. There's a guy taking a bath. And I was like, hmm, I don't know if you should be doing it the, that at the daycare, mister. But, you know, it's Sims. You can't control them, can you? They're just crazy people living in your own crazy world. So they're going to do what they're going to do. Yeah. And that's a little reading area, which is nice. The nap room, which I kind of want to jump into my screen and just curl up into a little ball on one of those beds. <laughs> Love the graphics on that bookshelf, by the way, and the unicorns. Uh, and then the eating room. So, hmm, might get a bowl of peas or some chippies. Mm -mm -mm. Anyways, you guys, here's the floor plans. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. And let me know what else you would want that you want to see. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening wherever you are in the world. And I will speak to you guys soon. Have a good one, guys. Love you. Bye.